So, you know, walking through the light plane area here at Oshkosh, we're seeing the fact that sport aviation is alive and well. But more important, it maintains its sense of innovation, its pioneering spirit, and oh yeah, we can get more power out of it. Uh, tell us what you're doing with Skytrax. Yeah, so, um, well, we started off with Skytrax making a couple of adapters for the Rotex Seager box, and then it's evolved now with, uh, you know, Rotex discontinuing the C gearbox line and now obviously getting away from the two strokes. So they're not making a separate gearboxes. Um, kind of left a hole for us because we were using the adapter early on for the Yamaha RX-1 snowmobile engine, which is a four cylinder, four stroke engine. It kind of led me to shop around for gearboxes and I didn't really find a good solution out there. So I decided to take it upon myself to learn a lot more about gear drives and gearboxes in general. And so our first gearbox that we came up with was this, we call it the Apex gearbox, primarily because it fits the Apex bottle snowmobile. We reduce it about 3.83 to 1 total from crankshaft to prop drive. Stock horsepower is about 150 horsepower, and obviously that's up at the higher RPMs because we have a smaller displacement engine. It's a five valve uh, configuration, three intake valves, two exhausts, so it's kind of made to run at that higher RPM. Some of the stall guys are putting turbos on them and boosting them up to to 300. Steve Henry's, I think he's at 350 horsepower right now. And just to clarify, I don't you know no one should consider that a replacement for an Ohio 540 it's just kind of the fun factor power to get off the ground and stuff like that and it is truly experimental you know I think our highest time engine that we have out there our customer is around six or seven hundred hours biggest appeal for these particular engines is the power to weight ratio obviously um, you're not going to beat a light combing and fuel burn like on the RV9 application you're going to be pretty close maybe I can go up to higher altitude make up for that efficiency but the biggest thing is I can climb at over 2,000 feet a minute even at 15,000 feet I'm climbing over 2,000 feet a minute easily and then I lost about 50 pounds off the O235 that was on there before so the other thing about it is we are supplying gearboxes for the do-it-yourselfer. We don't supply a, a firewall forward engine package. Now we've got other builders and other manufacturers that are coming on board now with the wire harnesses and the home builder is able to piece it together. But our portion of it is we're just trying to make it, seems like over the years, the hardest thing to do is to bolt the propeller onto an engine for an airplane. So we try to take care of that. And, and with our, all of our gearboxes, there's no retrofitting to the engine housing, no drilling, no machining or anything like that. It's all pull the stock component off and you put our gearbox on and in an hour and a half's time, maybe two hours time, that evening you can have your gearbox mounted to your engine. Teal, appreciate your time and welcome to Oshkosh. All right, thank you. Welcome to Virtufly. We create high-end flight controls, premium flight panels, and affordable certified flight simulators. From the user at home, the enthusiast, up to the most professional flight schools, and anyone in between. Check out our complete portfolio from the Yoko to Yoko up to turnkey personalized solutions here on the website and contact us for any further information.